Obviously trying to block that was for position. Kenseth will take the spot. He will finish 21st and Strimmy 22nd. This tires. John Hunter didn't get a great start. Look at Suarez. He's to the outside of Crafton. Daniel Suarez for the lead. Can he get around Matt Crafton? And which way will Christopher Bell go? Oh. Big crash. Heavy hit for Crafton. Caution is out. Suarez and Crafton both battling for the lead and they are torn up. Wow. That was a big hit for Matt Crafton. We saw Matt wiggle a little bit on that on that restart. Spun the tires that looked like just a little bit. That allowed Suarez to jump up to the outside. That slip. That just gave Suarez enough momentum to when they got to turn one, he jumps on the outside. But what happens after that? Christopher Bell is a good run as well. See Suarez on the outside. Watch Christopher Bell. Watch that four truck right side of your screen. Is he going to make a little contact? He does with Suarez. So Bell gets into the back end of his own teammate, Daniel Suarez, and that's what knocks Suarez into the 88 of Matt Crafton. They're dead even right now for the lead. Here comes Todd Bodine on the outside, too, making it three wide back there, about six rows back of two by two. But side by side, coming out of oh, trouble. Two, around goes the 32 and hard into the wall. Miguel Paluto hard into the wall, coming out of turn number four. Very reminiscent of Danica's accident in the duel. Caution comes out for the fifth time. Miguel Paluto running in the top three. Slides coming out of turn number four and then a head in collision with the inside wall. And what a great sign to see that window net go down as the safety crew will get to him immediately. He's the second car on the inside or second truck on the inside line. Wow, maybe he let off the. Maybe he made an evasive like action there because of PK Jr. Wow, Look at what the a, violence. What an impact. That, how, how violent that was. That truck weighs 3,500, 3,700 yeah. pounds, and it flies up in the air like that and catches on fire, and yet. And I, we saw how quickly Miguel Paluto had put the window net down, was taking his helmet off. Amazing. I think he got in the back of Nelson PK Jr. And when, it did, when he did, that slowed his momentum, and that's, I think, James Busher got into him. Watch this now. Look. It's hard to see. You can see right there. You could see you could see PK get a little bit sideways. That's real time speed right there. But I don't I don't know if those trucks make high. I know PK got sideways and then all of a sudden Pluto gets sideways and it's gonna get bunch of time. Oh, right spin. Trouble goes up Kenson. Back. You gotta spin behind you. Oh. You hard hit with the right front for Matt Kenson. Oh. Or left front rather. Gosh. They were just, uh, I think that uh, once again. Uh, I am okay, but I want to say I'm as okay as I was last Well, you can tell he's oh. had the breath knocked out. Scary, Matt Kenson. scary impact. But there. you know what caused that? The 11 over there trying to get by the 42, and he lost control, and they had to bottle everything up. There's Kenseth on the outside of row two. Yeah. And Hamlin did a good job yes. on this start. Didn't spin the tires. Actually made a good move down to the bottom in one and two. You can see the 14 of Boyer blocking the 78, and they get four or five wide. Big right. Murray up to the high side. Right up here, though, the 11 gets tries to get under the 42, and apparently must have lost it a little bit. Well, and actually, that the 20 gets up. three wide in the middle, and the 78. I don't know if they touched, but he just took. Oh, trying to battle back into the top five. I worried about the extra time and, and losing the track position by changing four tires. Way on the racetrack goes the 32, catches the six, and around goes Justin Lofton. Hits the 13 of Johnny Sauter. They crash right at the start finish line, and they catch the 32 of Miguel Paluto. Wow, that was You're a right huge bunch. crash. Yeah. 
And that was a long time yeah, in developing, right. too. The six of Justin Lofton got sideways way, way early at the exit of four. Way You could watch here as Miguel Pluto gets a little bit loose right there. Oh. Had a slow truck of Norm Benning ahead. Norm didn't do anything wrong. Miguel just got loose and, wow, right into the side. Almost flipped him over. Yep. Yeah, Johnny was as far down on the bottom of the racetrack on the apron as he could be. Just nowhere to go when Justin Laughlin got down there. So numerous, numerous trucks involved in this. The sixth caution here tonight. You can see there's there's concerns ahead. You see the slower red truck up ahead. So Pluto's going to try to squeeze up a little bit. I think his truck gets sideways. He clips Lofton and watch Lofton. He almost saves this baby. I thought he had it saved right there. And so frequently when it goes back the other way, the next time it gets sideways yeah. with the front end going left, it's worse. Look at James Butcher just barely slipping by. Johnny Sauter not so fortunate. And watch Miguel Pluto. He's watching what's going on. Going to make a move here to the inside. But then they had one coming up from the bottom as well. Just barely gets hit, though. Not a lot of damage. Good job by Paluto not getting involved in the crash that he was a part of starting. <laughs> <laughs> that he somewhat caused coming out of turn four. As you meant, look at the contact between Sauter and Lofton. All four all, tires. All four, all four tires, tires, tires on Lofton's truck off the ground. Look at the debris flying off the 13 of Sauter. Let's ride along with James Busher. See how just how close this was. Reside with Brad Keselowski and his ability to push. Well, he's getting a nice push from him. Uh oh, oh trouble. Harvick's around. Oh, got spun on the back by the 43. How many is it going to collect? Oh, what a vicious crash. Eric McClure. This happened. That hole Trying closed up. As you can see, as Kyle Bush went over, Brad Keselowski tried to go over. It was Joey Logano that was behind the net. Yeah, it's like I said, everybody's trying to go to the front, and those holes close up so quickly. You can see the safer barrier deflect tremendously when Eric McClure hit it. Thank God it was there. Yes. You can see just past this, there is no safer bearing. All that is is just a product of, of the racing, the close. And Casey Kane was trying to block that outside lane on, on his teammate, Chase Elliott. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. What a Careful contact boys. here. Careful. And oh, turn boy. away. Yeah, Chad Boat into oh. that inside wall hard. And he hit exactly at the wrong spot, right where that wall protrudes out. And having such a good day. Seven. Right here on the bottom. I mean, he was in a good spot. You can see everybody just getting antsy. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Look at this. Now, this is a bad spot he hit. Oh. Mm. Thank gosh that softball was there. That, that wall. I guarantee he didn't think it was soft. I'll tell you, that wall that NASCAR and the guys. You can't go below those yellow lines and advance your position. You're trying not to lift out of the gas. Mm. But you got somebody hung by the left rear. I'll shorten that thing up. Wadded one up. And that, that was, he was Come not up. even on his lap to get the green. He just had left pit road. Well, he said if he could hold it all wide open all the way around, he'd have a shot at the pole. Thing gets out money pretty early. She loose right there. You can see the wheels turn back to the right, and now just as he turned it off in the corner, watch this lick here. This is a hard lick. Despite the safer barrier. Well, let's show you. You know, last year a couple of times he had problems qualifying. If you remember, I think Charlotte, Texas. That car gets out money before he gets to the turn. He was still in the throttle when that thing broke. Yeah, he just started around. I mean, it was way, way too loose. But you know, you heard in our interview with Joe Nemechek, is these guys, they're on the edge because this is a race setup. And right. the car's just but loose. That no. car, he wasn't no. even turning. No. What he, caused that car to rotate so quickly? <laughs> it's a loose. Oh. <laughs> it's a bad yeah. truck. Yeah, I'm all right. Oh, good to hear that. 
Thank goodness for those safety there, barriers. Look at loose. the destruction. We heard Ricky of that just say truck. he got loose. Here's another look. You see him. He's in between two trucks, and he does get sideways and then overcorrects it. Mm. Man, did that truck hit the wall hard. You talked about it. You're going 160, 170 miles an hour when you get into the turn. Yeah, but you know. It's, and that's a hard right turn. You, you just don't see Rex that hard very often. I mean, that that caught, that truck clobbered the outside wall, and he shot up there at just such an extreme angle, Bill. I'm almost perpendicular to the outside wall. Head on.